Hey everybody, Uncle Papa Johnny here. See where we can get here back where you can see. Got the smoker out, got everything going on the smoker. Uh, got these deer hams going. Uh, it is cold out here today. That's what all I'm trying to do is put a cold smoke on these hams. It is cold out here. I've got just a very few pieces of uh, cowboy brand lump charcoal going in the firebox with just a very few little pieces of apple on it. All I'm trying to do is put a cold smoke on it. Didn't run into a couple places on these hams where, uh, see if I can show you uh, this back hand back here. Run into a couple places where I messed up. I let too many people get to me tell me it was impossible to be done. And uh, I was checking on them a lot and I pulled some of that, uh, I left the, uh, I left all the silver skin on the hams. Uh, I know with like a uh, hog, you know, you leave the hide on it. So left all the silver skin uh, on there. Uh, and I let people get to me and tell me it can be done. I pulled a couple places of silver skin down, checking it. And what I done was remove the salt, pulling that silver skin down, checking it and made an air pocket for bacteria to get in. So I had a couple of bad places there. Uh, went and got the old uh, everyday carry razor light, uh, cut a, cut that bad meat off just like old timers would have done discarded it and trust me there would be no doubt in your mind it wasn't dark meat there's dark meat on these hams right now where they've been aging it wasn't dark meat it was nasty it was let's just say that it was nasty and it was just a small area that was uh, uh affected by that infection that was allowed to get in there so we've got them on got a smoker going here with the uh, Oklahoma Joes, bought on Facebook, used on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, gonna try to keep this going. Uh, it's supposed to get extremely cold here tonight. Uh, we'll try to just keep a few pieces of lump charcoal on there and just enough applewood in there to get a smoke. See, my temperature gauge isn't even registering yet. I don't want it to register. So maybe it get up around 100. A little over 100 would be fine, but I just want a cold smoke. That's all our old timers done when they done it uh, and they cured these out. That's all I'm trying to do. Just put that cold applewood smoke on there. So y'all stay with us. See what we can get done here. Uh, God bless y'all because it's going to feel to me like forever until I talk to you again, but it'll only be a matter of seconds for you. So it's been about 12 hours. Temperature is just right around 100. It has got up to 150 on me at one point, but I was able to get it back down. Uh, they are got a lot of smoke color to them. Uh, trying to let this go on into the morning. Applewood uh, seems to be working pretty good. I have uh, turned these over a couple times. Just to try to keep the, the smoke. Of course, I know it's getting all the way around them, but just try to keep the heat. It's not, of course, you know, it's 100. It's not warm in there, but... Uh, this was the one that was closest to the fire when I moved them earlier when it got up to like 150 you can tell it's moved my light there so you can see a little better it's got some burnt looking places on it but it really wasn't hot it's not hot to touch but it is you know warm a little bit uh, but we'll see what happens keep watching well I'm gonna try to make a video here if I got some dogs that are barking but uh, well, this will be the end of the smoked uh, deer hams video. Uh, had a lot of uh, cold weather and stuff there that, during while I was smoking at that cold snap right at Christmas that I think most of the U.S. had. Uh, we had, and that's when I tried to smoke them. I was told it, if I wanted to keep it as cool as possible to smoke them uh, when it was cold, so I did. I smoked them for uh, about 24 hours and what i found out was that deer uh meat apparently takes cold smoke a lot better than anything else it took 
too much smoke. I don't have any pictures, any video of me cutting it open. I, uh, the day I went to get it sliced at a gentleman's house that had a, a meat bandsaw, I got a video and um, shoot, I got a phone call. And uh, a good friend of mine passed away. He used to be my neighbor here. He was actually uh, the first person to watch the first video. He was actually the first person to like and subscribe. Uh, as soon as I posted it and put it on Facebook that I'd made it, he immediately uh, hit like and subscribe. And uh, so I lost a good buddy uh, named Danny. Uh, Danny was excited about it more than anybody else, more than any of y'all were, more than any. And I was, his family said that's all he wanted to talk about was, have you seen the ham that... Uh, that Jonathan was smoking, and uh, that's all he wanted to talk about. Well, uh, so I've done Danny and him's funeral for his family. Uh, my granddaughter turned a year old uh, just recently. Um, we had all this nasty wet weather that we've had lately, just having a pretty day, actually, a day still cool, but a lot better than normal. And uh, I decided to come down to the barn and uh, check on the one ham I'd left hanging. I'd left one to hang. Well, it's gone. It is completely gone. I had it hanging in a sack, ham sack after I smoked it. I hung it up in a sack, an old uh, antique sack. It was probably one of my papaw sacks. It's gone. Sack's gone. Ham's gone. No bone, no gristle, no nothing. It's gone. Completely gone. So some varmint has made off with it. I assume to hope and pray that it was a four-legged varmint, not a two-legged varmint, but it wouldn't be the first time that something has disappeared out of this barn uh, by a two-legged varmint. Let's put it that way. Had all kinds of stuff disappear out of this barn, even though we live here at it, right beside of it. When we're not here, stuff disappears. I've had cattle sticks and everything else disappear. I, I know where one cattle stick's at. I've seen somebody using it. It... it it was broken, I duct taped it, and it was a certain color, and I know exactly who's got it, but I just let it go. And, uh, but the ham was, wasn't too salty. Uh, a lot of people said it was gonna be too salty. Wasn't too salty, it was too smoky. Uh, the old timers, when they're doing the hogs a lot of times, they'd put them in old smokehouses, and of course the smokehouses were big, they were open, they were box-sided, and they had holes and stuff in them. But they would smoke them three or four days. So I thought 24 hours in this uh, in this barbecue uh, style uh, Oklahoma Joe's cold smoker should be enough. Offset offset fire. Uh, well, it was too much. I'll definitely cut it back next time I ever do it. The meat looked good. It was had a dark look to it, like deer meat does. Uh, I fried one piece of it just. Uh, one evening I was in a hurry and I was here just right after we sliced it. I threw it on and fried it uh, with a little bit of butter and it was fairly good. It was just way, way, way too smoky. So uh, that's something that uh, I know to try next year now. I want to get to harvest some more deer. Wish I had some more deer ham. We'd go ahead and start on one, maybe in the freezer, but I don't. Uh, so that's just it. That's all we've got. So I hope this doesn't discourage any of you from uh, uh, keeping up with the channel, uh, liking or subscribing to the channel. Please like and subscribe. I don't expect this channel to really take off, but I really never expected to have 186, I think is what it's up to now, subscribers. I never really expected to have that. Never really expected anybody to care that much about what I was doing. Uh, what I'm doing now and working on doing is I've got all kinds of stuff planned. I just went and bought this used camper top and it's it's an okay shape. It doesn't match my truck. Uh, but me and my son are going to wrap it in a carbon fiber vinyl. He does uh, decal stuff for a living. So we're gonna wrap it in a carbon fiber vinyl to make it look a little better than it does. But it is for my body style truck. It fits my truck perfect, uh, just like it was made to. But the guy that had it had painted it black to put on his truck and Paint job's okay, but it's not great. Uh, some rough spots in it where he sanded it. There's some runs in it, but it done what he needed to do. He used it for camping. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to camp out of it and try to get some turkey hunting done this spring in it. Uh, 
try to get some more stuff like that done and i i just bought a camera i'm doing this on my iphone but uh, i just bought a camera uh, used off a guy on self-filmed hunts uh, page on facebook that he used and he showed me some pretty good video he said he took with it so i trusted him bought the camera i uh, haven't really got to play with it just come the other day uh been really busy like i said but we're gonna get this done uh, i may make a video wrapping it if y'all want to see us uh how to wrap it that way uh you know how to do it yourself because it's a lot cheaper than painting it uh like i said my son does it for a living and uh a lot of people do it it's not that that hard i don't think for what we're going to do here but when we get ready to do it if y'all are interested in that we'll show you that uh as we wrap it uh also uh next january uh i've already booked a line hunt and uh i believe we'll be in arizona i think he hunts arizona and new mexico both with mike bency and uh whether it be on mules riding dry ground or if it snows we'll be out uh, looking for tracks that way but uh from what i hear he's one of the best and uh so i've got that coming i got those turkey hunts coming this spring might try to do some fishing and stuff for y'all if y'all want to see it i'm not no great fisherman uh but i don't want to just do hunting videos like i said this is stuff for uh for us country people and stuff that we like and and just different things like that i've got a taxidermist that does my turkeys uh the only turkey i like for a grand slam is a merriam and i won't get to do that this year unless just by some means that god greatly blesses me and lays a merriam hunt in my lap if y'all have got merriams out there and you live out west where you got merriams and you want to bless me hook me up i'll come out there and we'll hunt merriam turkeys but uh uh I'm going to go to my taxidermist and they're going to let me video, uh, supposed to let me video them skinning a the turkey out. Because if you're like me, you don't want to waste that breast meat. But some of these turkeys you like to have a mount of. They'll show us how to get that turkey skin out uh, to where they can still mount it and still get it together. And uh, But before you do that, before you watch that video and everything, and I'll tell you when we do the video, before you do that, talk to your taxidermist, show them the video and see if that's what they do. If not, I'm pretty sure I can get you hooked up with my guy. You can ship your stuff in, and they'll get you hooked up uh, there. They do a really good job. Uh, mountain turkeys, that's, that's what they do. They do birds and fish. That's, about, that's all they do anymore. But uh, I've got that stuff lined up. Uh, I want to show you a, a neat little uh, trick I'm going to do with a garden in my flower bed. Some stuff we're going to do, and I'm going to start on it really, really soon. This is the first part of February. I'm going to start on it really soon. Something neat cheap uh that you can do and like i said i live in the middle of nowhere and i've got these dogs and stuff but uh i can't even grow a garden there's so many deer and groundhogs and other varmints out here running around that we can't even grow a garden uh, we've tried it in the past and as fast as we plant the plants or plant the seeds and they come up it's gone uh we can't keep them run off of it or run out of it can, can't do anything about it as this too much of uh, that kind of animal out here. Rabbits, groundhogs, uh, deer that just absolutely devour uh, anything I put out. But we're going to try this in the flower bed and we're going to start early and make a uh, modified type greenhouse. Uh, if y'all are also interested, I've got a buddy that just opened a um, barbecue place a while back and he's smoking meat there and uh, he smokes his own meat. He don't have any of this cheap stuff brought in like a lot of uh, barbecue restaurants do or people that claim to sell barbecue smokes his own meat he does an excellent job he's been really busy he does it just him and his family uh so they've got limited hours and stuff they're open because they have to have a life and they have to sleep so but uh we'll get a video of him at his restaurant if y'all are interested in that and uh we'll just do some neat little things here and uh we'll show god's great outdoors and the things that he's blessed us with um once again if y'all will like and subscribe to the channel I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't have a better update on the hams than what I thought I did. I actually went in here, was going to get this ham and bring it out and show you what it looked like smoked. Um, and we were going to keep it, uh, I was going to keep it till this summer and make sure that it kept because that was the whole process behind me doing this was wanting to see how our ancestors kept meat long term and not just hog meat uh, i wanted to see how they kept their game meat too 
so this didn't work out for me uh, but we'll try it again and next time i will hang it up uh somewhere and lock it up where no varmint can get to it and no man can get to it uh so we'll work on that uh, but god bless y'all thank y'all i uh, really appreciate uh, encouraging words on uh, what i've done uh but uh until we get some stuff going here soon like i said i'm gonna start on that flower bed and stuff uh, with the garden but till we get that stuff going here soon y'all just keep up and uh keep your eyes looking up to the good lord and y'all keep up with the channel like and subscribe y'all have a great day god bless you and uh till next time <laughs>